Hi boys and girls. Today we get to go into our astronomy lesson for our Knowledge 6 Unit Lesson 8 and dive into the solar system, part one. Here we go. To begin, we're going to look at some words we need to listen to as we start our lesson. The first word is abundant. Abundant means plentiful, more than enough. An example of this is the farmers celebrated their abundant harvest with a town fair. The word is abundant. The next word is accomplish. Accomplish means to achieve something. An example of this is we can accomplish our goal of winning the game if we work together. Our next word to listen for in our story is inner. Inner means close to the center or inside. An example of this is the inner circles of the spider's web were smaller than the outer circles. Our next word to listen for is solar. Solar means related to the sun. An example of this is, my mom has a solar powered wrist watch that works by using energy from the sun. On our last word to listen for in the story is unique. Unique means one of a kind. An example of this is, each person in the world is different from every other person. So we say that each person is unique. Our next two lessons are going to be teaching us about several planets. We have learned that a planet is different from a star. Listen carefully for facts about each planet, especially facts about how each planet is unique or different from others. For thousands of years, stargazers have known that the sun, moon, and stars are not the only celestial bodies in the night skies above Earth. Ancient stargazers recognized that there are other planets up there as well. Remember that a planet is a large celestial body that revolves around a star for light and heat. What they did not know is that these planets, like Earth, revolve around the sun. Astronomers now know of eight major planets, including Earth, that revolve around the sun. In addition, there are a number of dwarf planets, or little planets. The word solar is used to describe something that is related to the sun. For example, solar energy refers to the heat and light that comes from the sun. Planets and other celestial bodies that orbit the sun make up what is known as the solar system. This diagram shows the eight major planets in our solar system. About the only thing these eight planets have in common is the fact that they all orbit the same sun on their own specific path. Beyond that, each planet is unique, one of a kind and different from any other. The first four planets you will learn about are called the inner planets, or the ones near the center of the solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Mercury is one of the closest planets to the sun and the smallest of the eight major planets in the solar system. Being the smallest and closest to the sun makes Mercury unique. Mercury can be seen from Earth, but it is hard to spot. You can only see it in the early morning or the early evening. Most of the planets in the solar system are named after Roman gods and goddesses. The planet Mercury is named after the Roman god Mercury. In mythology, the god Mercury was very fast, so it makes sense that this planet is named after him. It takes just 88 Earth days for Mercury to complete a revolution around the sun, so it is a quick little planet. Remember that Earth takes 365 days to orbit the sun. So if Mercury only takes 88 days, which planet is faster? 
Unlike Earth, Mercury does not rotate much. It spins on its axis just one and a half times during its revolution around the sun. At first glance, you might notice that Mercury looks a lot like our moon with its rocky, heavily cratered surface. Mercury has some of the largest known crater impacts in the solar system, meaning that it has been hit by some very large rocks. In fact, some craters are about 50 miles wide. Mercury has no atmosphere to protect it like Earth does. And because it is so close to the sun, the surface of Mercury is very, very hot or very, very cold. Temperatures on the surface facing the sun can range anywhere from 300 degrees to nearly 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit. On Earth, we consider 90 degrees Fahrenheit to be hot, while the surface facing away from the sun can be as low as 350 degrees below zero. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature at which water freezes on Earth. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is named after the Roman goddess of love. Aside from the sun and the moon, Venus is the brightest celestial object that you can see from Earth. Being the brightest object in our night sky makes Venus unique. It takes Venus roughly 225 Earth days to revolve around the sun. However, like Mercury, Venus does not rotate on its axis very fast. In fact, Venus actually rotates in the opposite direction that Earth does. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star or the evening star because it often appears as a bright object in the evening sky or as bright object in the morning sky. Venus is also known as Earth's sister planet because it is the closest planet to Earth and the two planets are roughly the same size. Being a sister planet to Earth is another fact unique to Venus. Beyond that, however, Earth and Venus have very little in common. Venus's atmosphere consists of a very thick layer of clouds, so it is difficult for astronomers to study its surface. We do know, however, that the surface is very hot and dry. Venus's thick, cloudy atmosphere traps much of the sun's energy, meaning temperatures on the planet can soar to above 800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really hot. You also learned the word atmosphere when we first started studying astronomy. Remember, atmosphere is the bubble of gas that surrounds a planet. You should recognize the planet in this photo. It's your home planet, Earth, the third planet from the sun. Earth is the only planet that does not take its name from a Roman or Greek god. The word Earth is an ancient word that originally meant ground. When the word Earth was invented, the people living here did not even know that it was a planet. This photo was taken by the astronauts of the Apollo 8 mission. They did not get to land on the moon, but they flew around it. One of the most important factors that sets Earth apart from other planets is the abundant supply of water. That means there is more than enough or plenty of water. Water is essential for life. Without water, there could not be any living things like people, plants, or animals. Although some other celestial bodies in our solar system have some water, Earth is the only planet whose surface is mostly liquid water. Earth is also the only planet with an abundance of oxygen in the air and oxygen is also essential for life. Its supply of water and oxygen make Earth unique. So after Mercury and Venus comes planet Earth, where we live.
Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Mars is named after the Roman god of war. Mars is often referred to as the red planet because of its color. Its red color makes Mars unique. You can see Mars from Earth, and even without a telescope, you can identify it by its reddish tint. The further you get from the sun, the colder it is and the longer it takes to complete a revolution or make one trip around the sun. It takes Mars 687 Earth days to revolve around the sun. It is interesting, though, that Mars rotates on its axis at about the same speed as Earth. Mars has two moons, but they are small and oddly shaped. One of them is pictured here. Astronomers believe that these moons are actually large asteroids or space rocks that became trapped in orbit as they passed by Mars billions of years ago. Because Mars is relatively close to Earth, astronomers from NASA have been able to send several spacecraft to explore that planet. NASA has sent several unmanned spacecraft to orbit Mars. NASA has also managed to send several small robotic vehicles called rovers to explore Mars's surface. The photo you see here is the first color photo ever taken on another planet. It was snapped by the Spirit Exploration Rover. Most of the rocky surface of Mars is covered in a layer of rust, which is a reddish brown color. The rust explains why Mars appears to be red. NASA scientists hope to be able to send astronauts to Mars but it may be many, many years before technology exists that might allow them to accomplish this or achieve this goal. Perhaps if you decide to be an astronaut when you grow up, you will be the first person to set foot on Mars. It will not be easy to put a person on Mars, but people used to think it was impossible to go to the moon too. Mars is also unique because it is a celestial body we might be able to visit one day. Boys and girls, those are the four inner planets of our solar system. When you're done with this video, the next thing you're going to do is open up a Google document and write an opinion statement about which inner planet would you want to visit. Would you want to visit Mercury, Venus, Earth, or Mars? There will be a sentence starter to help you get started. It will say, I would like to visit the inner planet because, and you can fill it in. My example says, I would like to visit the inner planet Mercury because there are many craters I want to visit. You can pick any one of the four planets to visit and give us a reason why. You can use the sentence starter, but after that sentence starter, boys and girls, you need to add at least one additional sentence to give us more details of why you want to visit that planet. If you need to listen to the story again, you can. Have fun and share with us your opinion. Have a great day.